Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to create an equation and an inequality. This is a four-part question. I will read each part and ask you to pause and solve for each part. Maya, Colton, and Ian use the same taxi company to travel. The initial fee for a taxi ride is $2.60. Each mile traveled in a taxi cost an additional $2.50. So we know just to get into the taxi, they spend $2.60, and then every mile is recorded, and they spend $2.50 per mile on top of the $2.60. Here's part A. One day, Maya rode two miles in a taxi. What was the total cost in dollars of her taxi ride? Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So we know that Maya was going to, we're finding her total cost and that Maya spent $2.60 to get into her taxi. And then she went, in addition to that, $2.50 for each mile. So we say $2.50 times the number of miles she went, which is two. So two goes in our parentheses. $2.50 times two is $5 with the additional $2.60. Add that together and we get that Maya paid $7.60 for her taxi ride. Here's part B. Colton rode in a taxi to get to work. The total cost of his taxi ride was $9.60. Let X represent the number of miles Colton rode in the taxi. Which of the following equations represents this situation? Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So we know from our previous question that we are going to put all this information together and that what we've given here is that Colton spent $9.60. So we take forward from what we did before. We don't know how many miles he went, but we know that he's going to spend $2.60 to get into the taxi cab and then $2.50 per mile. But we don't know how many miles he went. So we're going to put in X in our parentheses, and it's all going to equal $9.60. Now, I've noticed in all of my multiple choice answers that they didn't put that trailing zero in the money. So we're going to do the same thing and take off our trailing zeros. So $2.60 mathematically will be 2.6. $2.50 is going to be 2.5, and we're going to multiply that by the X miles that he went, and it all equals the 960 or 9.6. Now, none of these are here because this has an X. This does not have an X. But understanding addition, the order doesn't matter, so commutative property, I can flip these around in the order 2.5X plus 2.6 will equal 9.6. Now let's see if any of them match. And there you see. It matches A. Part C. Based on your answer to Part B, what is the total distance in miles that Colton rode in the taxi? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now. Welcome back. So let's bring forward because we're trying to find the total distance that he went, so we want to know what that X was. So we'll bring forward our equation that we wrote in the previous part. And we had 2.5x plus 2.6 equals 9.6. And what we're being asked to solve for is this value of x. So we want to get x all alone. So to do that, I need to get this variable term alone and do the inverse of add 2.6, which is to subtract 2.6 from each side. This gives me my zero pair. So I'm going to bring down my 2.5x, and that will equal 9.6 subtract 2.6, which is 7. Now I need to solve for x, and I'm going to undo multiply by 2.5 and divide each side by 2.5. And 7 divided by 2.5 gives me, right here, we're going to divide. 7 divided by 2.5, and I need to move the decimal point one space to the right. And what I do to the divisor, I have to do to the dividend. So I'm going to move this decimal point one space to the right as well. So really, I'm doing 70 divided by 25. 25 goes into 70, bring up our decimal point, two times. 2 times 25 is 50. 70 subtract 50 is 20, and bring down your 0, and 25 goes into 200 eight times. 
8 times 25 is 200, and I have 0 left over, so I know that x is equal to 2.8, and he went 2.8 miles on his taxi ride. Part D. Ian rode in a taxi to get to the airport. The total cost of his taxi ride was more than $12. Write and solve an inequality to find the possible distances in miles Ian could travel in the taxi. Show or explain how you got your answer. Go ahead and pause now. Welcome back. So we're going to write and solve an inequality. That means we're going to use less than, greater than, or less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So we go up to our problem and it says that his taxi ride was more than $12. So we know that means that we're going to take our form, our expression that we got in our previous part, $2.50 per mile plus the $2.60 to get into the cab, and that has to be greater than 12, more than 12. So now we are going to solve this inequality, which is what we did in the previous. It was just an equation. So we know we're solving for x, so we are going to undo add 2.6 and subtract 2.6 from each side. Here's my zero pair, leaving me 2.5x is greater than 12 subtract 2.6 is 9.4. Now we're going to divide each side by 2.5, and let's do our long division. So 9.4 divided by 2.5, we need to move the decimal point one space to the right. So we're going to do that over here, and then we're going to carry our decimal point up. 25 goes into 94 three times. 3 times 25 is 75. We subtract and we get 19. Bring down a 0. 25 goes into 190 seven times. 7 times 25 is 175. Subtract and we get 15. Bring down a 0. 25 goes into 150 six times. 6 times 25 is 150. So we know that he went more than 3.76 miles. Thanks for joining me today for another math test prep question. I hope you'll continue on and watch the next video.